the Campi Flegrei is not only dangerous for Italy, it's also dangerous for the entire world. And it could even unleash a chain of events that could be deadly. Hi everyone and welcome to my new video and this time I'm gonna talk about the Campi Flegrei. In another video I talked about another volcano which was the Vesuvio in Italy and the Campi Flegrei is also located in Italy. It's actually very close to the Vesuvio. The weird thing is that it's more dangerous than the Vesuvio and a lot of people have never heard of it. I asked around if people heard of it and Nobody actually did. I never heard of it. Uh, I was doing some research on the Vesuvio and I was talking to my friend Francesco and he told me about it and I was really... Well, it, it was surprising that, that I never heard of it because it's really a very dangerous volcano. One of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. So it's weird that we never heard of it. If you did hear about it, let me know in the comments, I'm curious. It's lurking beneath the surface without our knowledge and experts even think that when it erupts it will be something we have never seen so they don't even fully know what will happen if it does happen. They do know that it's gonna erupt eventually just like the Vesuvio but the question is when will it erupt? Will it be anytime soon or will it take a thousand more years? We have no idea but I'm gonna give you some more information and I'm gonna tell you what we know today. I don't think we have to worry right now, but as I said before, it's always hard to really know when a volcano will erupt. The Campi Flegrei is also located near Naples. Campi Flegrei means burning fields. And you can really take that literally because they are burning fields. It's an 8 mile long caldera. For us Europeans it means 12 kilometers. A caldera is a depression that is created after an eruption where most of the content of its magma chamber has erupted in an explosion. Uh, you can also see it as a bowl shape. Since 2003 it's a national park so you can also visit it if you want to. It's also on my bucket list so I hope I can visit it one day. It's mostly underwater and the caldera contains 24 craters and volcanic edifices. One of the craters is named the Sovaterra. It was considered the home of the Italian god Vulcan. They called it the Forum Vulcani. Vulcan was the son of Jupiter and Juno. He was married to Venus and he was the god of fire, volcanoes and of the smiths. He even forged the lightning bolt of Jupiter. The name Solvaterra comes from Solva and Terra, which means land of sulfur. There's also a lake called Lago d'Averno. It's located in the volcanic crater Averno. And it's also a very important mythological place. They thought that it was the entrance to the Hades. Uh, the Hades was the underworld. That was the place where you would go if you died. A lot of Roman mythological stories take place there. The Campi Flegrei is not only dangerous for Italy, it's also dangerous for the entire world. It will cover Europe in inches of ashes and it could even unleash a chain of events that could be deadly. It can create food shortage, drought and even economical crises. But do they really know if it's gonna erupt anytime soon? Or do people just talk about it to scare us or to have an interesting topic for a video like I have now? <laughs> uh, I found some things on the internet that they have said and I'm not sure if it's true. But it's just very interesting to hear about it. So I'm just gonna talk about it. And feel free to give your own opinion about it. Scientists have seen that there is intense activity in the Campi Flegrei. Italy has a lot of earthquakes lately, even deadly ones. There was even an earthquake on the western edge of the Campi Flegrei area. Two women were killed and a lot of people were injured. As I said in my other video before the Vesuvio erupted in 79 AD, there was also an earthquake 16 years before. And this was a sign that the volcano was active, but people just ignored it. Or you could say that I didn't know it was a sign, because people weren't that intelligent back then. So scientists fear that it might be the same case again. But this is only speculation, they don't have evidence. Uh, what they do know is that the water in the craters has risen in temperature compared to a decade ago. 
It takes a lot of energy to make the water hotter. So it could be a sign that the volcano is active again. The volcano is also filling himself with CO2 and water dams. They are coming from the magma, which is getting less space within the volcano. So if the pressure will be too much, it has to put itself outside and then the terror will begin. The ground is also elevating with a few millimeters each year. And that sounds like it's nothing much, but it's really dangerous because if it grows, it means that the volcano is really active. And the reason why it's dangerous is because that it could be a sign that the magma is gathering itself underneath the Earth's surface. The supervolcano has exploded before. It was 40,000 years ago. And they even think that it wiped out the European Neanderthals. The most recent eruption was 500 years ago. It lasted for 80 days. That's just bizarre. Uh, we don't really know a lot about it, but I guess people have died and it was horrible. And it was not as bad as the one that happened 40,000 years ago. So it could have been a small one, but we don't have enough things to show that can prove what happened. Because of activity below the Earth's surface, there were also towns that sank into the ocean. You can compare it to Atlantis, for example. We have never found Atlantis, but you can see this town. It's called Baia. It's unbelievable, but this town is now at least 15 feet below sea level. Baia sank because of the emptying of magma chambers deep beneath the Earth's crust. Scientists call the rise and fall of Earth's surface caused by the movement of magma chambers Brady Sizem. You can go there and swim in the ruins. It's just, oh my god, I just want to go there as well. It was a very popular city. Even Caesar Nero and Cicero had their vacation homes there. It slowly sunk into the sea, so it was not like it suddenly dropped down. And it's a national park now. You can dive there and you can see a statue and the floors. There's also a town called Puzzoli and it has been under the ground and above the ground several times due to the rise and fall of the magma underneath the Earth's surface there and you can also visit that place and you can even see that the pillars have been underneath the water and above the water and it's really strange that the pillars just stand there and never fell down because of the pressure it really intrigues me and it's very interesting and also very beautiful geologists were stumped by these three iconic columns for decades they had no idea how these columns could have erosion from the sea. It wasn't until scientists figured out that ground level is affected by the rise and fall of magma beneath it that this mystery was solved. We got some water bubbling out. This place is still very, very geologically active. We don't know everything about eruption, but luckily there are a lot of people who are working on it to get more accurate predictions. For now, people still don't know when the Kampli Flikrai will erupt. One of the speculations is that it will erupt in 2020. So that would be very soon. It's only two years from now. I have a video where you can see what happens when it erupts. So I really hope that it won't erupt anytime soon because we are screwed. You would think that people are very scared to live there. Some people even live really near the Camp Lieflegrei, like on the top of it. They just ignore the fact that they live there and they aren't paying attention that they are living close to very dangerous volcanoes like the Vesuvio and the Camp Lieflegrei. And of course they experience the earthquakes, but most people just stay there and if it's really dangerous, they are getting evacuated. So I think they are very strong-minded people and they have a lot of guts to stay there. I guess time will tell us what will happen. Of course, the earthquakes are uh, really dangerous and it definitely rings a bell, but that only means that people are paying more attention to the volcano. So I think they will take more time to see if it's gonna erupt and that's a good sign. This was my video about the Campli Flikrai. If you want more information, I also found a cool video where they are talking about signs and, and showing you some places you can go to. And they are showing the activity in the volcano. 
I will put it in the link underneath this video. I always put my sources underneath this video. So if you want to see more about something I showed, you can always find it down below. If you live near the Kampli Vliegerij, I would love to know that. And you can also put it in a comment underneath this video. If you just want to talk about it, you can also leave a comment. Please like my video, that would help me a lot. And if you like my videos even more, you can subscribe to my channel. That would mean even more to me. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I had to look up a lot of stuff. And I'm sorry if I pronounce things differently. But yeah, it's just gonna be a struggle for a long time until I'm more used to it. Thank you for watching and bye.